I recognize it. The same motion that you guys just did. Coming right. As soon as I feel this, I'm my head going down. I'm just gonna follow the movement here. Here, where I don't have the cross face yet, what I like is I like to take this on here, circle around, and then cross face here. Boom. Okay. From here, I'm gonna let go of this leg. I'm gonna try to flatten him back out here. I'm gonna just grab here, squeeze, like like a bicycle pulling towards me. Both hands. Boom. Here, and put him flat on his back. And then from here, I try not to roll too much farther. I just try to put him on his back, and then I think down. Okay, I don't think too much forward. Just so he's flat on his back. Do my bicep curl here. I'm going to drop my hips to this side, so my shoulders also drop. Normal reaction to this is for him to turn into it. So he starts turning in. Why don't we go press his leg down here? I'm going to step over. Roll and take the back. Okay, and I can finish it. Right? I have a good position and I have long enough arms, but body types vary, right? right? Not everybody has it directly here with the chin lined up. This is ideal. If I have that here, then I'm able to touch my chest here because then I can slide it back here and this is choked. Okay? Some people got thick necks, some people got short arms, sometimes I'm here. This is fine too. If this were the case and I can't really grab my bicep or anything, I'm just going to simple gable grip. I'm going to put my forearm behind him here. I'm just going to squeeze here. That's one of the way to finish this choke. Okay. There is you know, that way. I prefer not to do it this way. This is this is cool in WrestleMania. <laughs> but, and it, it does work. But again, this is easily defeated because he's going to reach, grab my arm. And, and if I keep my shoulder there, he could pull onto it right there and arm lock me right there. All right. So just a simple choke here. Again, I just I hide my arm behind his back here. So, and then, 